Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In last episode, we started exploring the depths a bit more, and why we did that was because we wanted to, well, I wanted to build this beauty. And what this is, if you missed last episode, it's a flying motorcycle that I put a bright seed bloom on for, for lighting. And if you want to build this, go back to the last episode and uh, click the link on the description and it will take you to the video where I found uh, the inspiration for this. Because I haven't come up on this with this design. I straight out stole it from a... Or stole it. I, I copied it. But I have given him credit in that video. So, so if you want to learn how to build this, either watch my last episode or watch his video. He is explaining it a lot better. <laughs> On why it works and everything. And for this episode we are still going with last episode's goal. And it's to take us all the way here. And continue on the Giga Clan quest line, The side adventure. But on our way we are lighting up the map. And also putting out places where Zonite is spawning. Like in nice little groups. Like the Zonite ores are spawning nicely. And also take out enemies where they are, because usually they are guarded by Bokolobins and everything. So, like this place over here. And the weird part with this with this little flying machine, it doesn't break. Or it didn't break on almost the whole last episode. I, I changed bike once, because I lost one of them. Because I landed a bit too hard. Uh, but the, the last bike I, I built... Like in the beginning of the episode, it's still up and running, which is crazy. Because like wings and everything, they decay so quickly, I think. Life is like... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we don't want to drop the bow. So I guess we want to fight those first, but they are gonna probably aggro... Maybe tell the other ones. Oh. Ow. I'm not sure why I thought that would be a one hit though. Oh. So. Not the best start. Should probably just run back here quickly and get the... The lives back here. Thank you. And quickly eat something. Some salty grilled meat. Now we should be able to clear this camp. So start with the guard. Put an extra damage on him. So I want it. He heard something but didn't see me. And also let's take this dude on the outside. Is that a big dude? That's a big dude. Now you saw me out. Huh? Two of the big dudes. Okay, they die on a headshot. Okay, almost die on a headshot. One left, huh? Nice. What did they have on their head? Moblin horns. So putting these like steel boxes on the swords, it gives gives the sword crazy durability for crushing uh, crushing ores, which is nice. Should be a chest over here somewhere, hopefully at least. So I was thinking it was a lot of enemies here, but this is the loot we're really here for, the so nice. Because with these we can build uh, buy crystallized charges. And with that we can upgrade our batteries so we have more permanent batteries. Which means that we can fly for longer periods of time with our new new built bike. 
So all the grinding we do here today is to make it easier when we play the game in the overworld, like in the future. So all the like walking time will get cut down significantly with this. So here I'm backtracking because I found like a really big enemy nest here with a lot of loot. It looked like a lot of loot at least. It's this green pin over here. I just wanna re recharge my battery. I think you see pretty quickly here why I want to, to get more batteries. Because those two, they are going out really quickly. Yeah, this place is... Oh, it's... It's a big forest here. Oh my god, I wanted to do a nice little landing there. But that didn't work. Okay. Nice headshot. That's a miss. That's a miss. Oh my god. That's not a miss though. Oh, there you are. Bow will break. Nice. This is actually a lot of loot for only those few enemies. So here we'll get a stamp as well. Stamp of approval, huh? And the bow is breaking, so let's drop it. Now this will break also. Good thing we have more. Is still here. I also wonder where the like lighting up place is here. Apple and Groove. Like just turning this takes almost one battery, so <laughs> it would be nice to have at least like four or five permanent batteries. That's okay. Uh, let's do a 24 bow. Because this place we wanna... Kill before they wake everything up here. Because this looks like a really big... Really big... Uh, camp. And I will actually put on full sneak clothes. Because then it makes me easier to approach her. Dude, you're not gonna see me, huh? Oh. Now they wonder. It would be nice to just headshot this big dude quickly. Just peek up here. Oh my god, can you... <laughs> can you peek up your head also? I don't think I can hit this, or can I? I could, if I would have aimed a bit better. Wow. Stop throwing stones on me. Oh, did I <laughs> hit the stone with my arrows? Yeah, I take way too much easy damage here. Thought I would have missed me. I thought I 
was in there. Oh yeah, you're gonna call your friends. Fortunately, you're almost alone. You have this dude left. But not anymore. Took a bit of unnecessary damage, this fight. But it's okay. A lot of great loot. Should probably mark this place. Also, I would take this two handed and make a new, new this with it. And the rest can go for hopefully getting me arrows. And I don't want to use it because I don't want the explosion to destroy materials. That's why I'm putting them outside. There is some nice arrows. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. That's great. Quite dark here, actually. Let me just throw out one of these on the wall. Is that everything? Maybe it's some of ores on the outside. It, sometimes it is. Yeah, it's up here also. more. Ah, one here also. Two even. That's great. Uh, and the bike is where? Didn't I approach from here? There's the bike. Let's flip it over. And we're going east. So let's save some battery so we don't have to waste it on turning. Oh my god. Thank you. And let's go keep going east. Oh my god, here's a big mountain. Yeah, I remember from, from last episode. So we need to round this mountain somehow. If we can land up on this, would be great. Nice. I wonder if we can... Or is that just a roof? I guess it's like a roof also. It's the Grand Po over here. And it's worth taking. Oof. <laughs> Almost fell down. It's like a big, big wall over here. Making us impossible to go through here. Looks like maybe it turns there as well. Should we just try going this way and hope that it likes clears around like that? Let's do it. So, point one is that Grand Pove over there. Okay, so it keeps going up. I shouldn't be shocked because it's we were just here. <laughs> Don't tell me it's like no no turn here at all. Here it looks like it start turning. But that's where we came from with the boss. So this is not Oh, it took the fall damage. That's good. 
I shouldn't come here. So it's probably just... Let's just leave that bike for now. And quick travel and build a new one. It's actually good to just also get our HP back here. Thank you. Get a 3 1. And. Uh, why not a 2 1 as well? Uh, this looks like a weapon platform. Why not just quickly go and check what, what it has to offer? Also get a bomb on the way. Uh, I will take the damage. Yeah. Try to not take it. It was just a spear. That's that's unfortunate. But hopefully from here we can go right and then get to that place. So let me build a new car. See, the price is only 9 if you don't have the parts, which is super nice. And then... Oh. Then we wanna turn it to save some energy. And we also wanna put a bright seed on it. As, uh, as the lighting. And then just turn it off. Maybe not with that, but... Now we have already done it. Uh, let's just keep, because we're probably gonna loot some more. So let's go. With the new bike. Okay, we wanna try to go to the right, if, if we could. Yeah, my bike is gonna... Yeah, not the best place to drop the bike on. Can you please... Okay. We just have to eat the damage, I guess. There we go. Okay. Just get me to this safe spot here. And then we can turn the bike. I guess we have to keep going this way. Mm. I will eat one of these. A lot of spears on those dudes, which is not the favorite. Is this wall, like, impossible to cross? Ah, <laughs> uh, here we have at least... ...the next lighting up thing. So we're going, like, southwest when we need to go... <laughs> ...east, which is not the best. So I guess the black parts on the map are like, here is walls that you cannot cross. Maybe that's the meaning with those. But does that mean that this is some type of passage? We should explore that. After we have eaten some. We're going... We're going there, huh?
It's that the thing, like the first battery is almost... Just like the starting cost of the bike is almost one battery just to get, get your way going, which is no good. Ah, damn. We lost a life. But it's okay. We can manage. Put it there for now. Is we... Missed it? Oh my god. So where is that place? That place is actually there. I'm not sure that... Maybe it's actually an opening over there. Was it like straight from where I was? <laughs> if I do that, just to see what, what that is. Oh, that's over there, huh? This should be much closer. That's more accurate, actually. Don't use this weapon, please. Use something worse. That means that thing marks... Like, am I in a fight at the moment? <laughs> I'm just checking the place out. Oh. And now, if when I'm thinking about it, they told me we could reach this by going down the chasms in Kakariku and also near Sora's domain, if I'm remember correctly like this oh the lanary wetland maybe it's like a big wall here and you can't go to the east side without jumping down these chasms that can actually be a thing because i know they told me like you you should go down there <laughs> to find the statues at least oh that's not the correct I'm gonna use this. Oh my god. Okay, it hit. That's not a headshot. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Did you see me here? Don't go away from me, dude. I'm over here. Are you gonna throw that on me? That's a bit hectic. Hope it was worth it. Because <laughs> I'm still alive and you're not. Even I'm a, even though I'm a bit hurt. But nothing a little meat and apples can fix. Or tomatoes. I guess. I'm almost wondering if we should test that theory and just teleport to a... Uh chasm nearby Kokoroku village and jump down there because this wall feels like it's gonna keep going to be honest but at least we've done some great mapping on this part of the map or depths which is nice the depth is super huge though. So let's just keep going here for a while. We can do one more battery charge and if... If no turn is appearing, then I guess... The theory is correct. So we're gonna go to that thing and light it up as well, I guess. We have it for the future. It looks like the wall is keep on going, so... 
That's good to get my theory com at least somewhat confirmed. Ugh. I hope that's enough. That's a big... That's a really big uh, thingy. Let me just mark it. I know it's gonna be a lot of things there. Boom. Yeah, my theory is correct. This looks like a big thing as well. I wanna check it out, so I'm just gonna do that. But those two things we're gonna check out some other days, because I wanna also keep embarking on the quests we have, and not only light up the depths. So let me jump down in the east side of the depths now. We're here at Pekariko village. And I wanna try the bike up in the overworld, just for fun. Oh, could also build it. It's making me a bit irritated that it's always built towards you. So I always have to turn it. Okay. That's actually nice. See how much time we save instead of like gliding and then climbing up here. We can just boom and we're already there. Let's try to glide down here with the bike. Oh, <laughs> it broke, but it's okay. We can build a new one down here. Damn, this was dark though. And a bit scarier in the music. What the hell? And also, I don't don't know how near I am the ground. Oh, <laughs> I was like on the ground already. Okay, there we have a lighting place. Uh, just for my own sake here. And I guess it's these statues we're following this time. Sora statue and yeah. put that on and quickly change to one handed and turn it off. Oh my god, you guys, I haven't taken a picture on. That's actually a cool pick. Okay, so you're ready to fight. Easiest enemies ever. Were they all? Yeah. I guess that loot isn't worth all the hassle. So where was the light thingy? I saw it in the distance, over there. See what I mean with like the greater... Uh, the Great Seed, it's really lighting up the place when you're going, and that looks like a dangerous enemy. I wanna... Oh my god! Don't wanna die. <laughs> but I wanna mark this place as a, a bit sus. I really need more battery power. <laughs> The amount of time I can fly is so short. Oh. 
That's a good little landing. I guess this is important information for us. Where is we on the depth map, like um, compared to the other places? Okay. Let's just keep going. No point in uh, stopping and slowing down. <laughs> I knew that would happen. I would go here and then turn right, I guess. Can't I aim? Ah, so close though. <laughs> That's the same amount of close. Yeah, I see you, rogue. There's a statue. I'll try to land on the tree here. I said I will try. <laughs> no damage taken. That's also good if you crash landing. Usually the bike takes the damage. Which is none for it, but for us it would have been a lot. Oh my god. Don't touch the ground, <laughs> as you saw. I'll just give myself a better starting point over here. Where did the statue look? It looked straight. Ah, oh, there's the next one. Next stop is here, I guess. Is that a big boy with the stone armor? Think it was? Are you gonna call your friends? Oh my god. These dudes are tanky. Not tanky enough. Oof. Friend did a little headshot on him. Wow. My bike. Okay, it didn't blow up. <laughs> you can actually go over here. Hmm? One survived, huh? That's a bit weird. Always take aimbot when I have the opportunity to collect some aimbot items. Good for boss fights. Oh, 
Like this deposit, I would not map out. Sure, it's it's a few, but three enemies for this amount is not worth it. We have better spots on the map already. Where's the next statue? Over there. It's weird that we haven't seen a new, like, uh, map unlock thingy. Maybe they are more rare on this side of the depth. But this is a weapon we want. Looks like a two-handed, which isn't decayed. Guess we drop this for that. And the statue is looking up again. Another weapon. The hell is that thing? That's a bat is lighting up the thing. That's a spear as always. You're gonna break my bike, dudes? No. <laughs> Not my bike. Did I hit it again now? I don't wanna waste the good weapon here. Use this instead. Uh oh. Uh, just give me one second. Someone is smoking on the balcony next to me and it's getting into where I live. I'm back. That's a thing I really hate. <laughs> Cigarette smoke going into to, to where I live. I have like a hard time uh, with the uh, strong strong smells and cigarette smoke is the most one of the most foul smells I think. It's so nasty. There we have the next uh, upgrade thingy, map part. Just wanna see if this was- I think it was a spear, but I want to double check. No, look, a two-handed. Very nice. Think we can uh, offer that one for this. No, so we should- Oh, I'm stupid. Why don't I mark this place down? These are really important to mark down. Because then you can just go and get the weapons again. What am I doing? Uh, weapons. Actually, we have a weapon icon. Use that for that. So weapon icon in the depths means good loot. Good weapon loot, that is. Uh, thank you. Another one. Another, is it a one handed? Ooh, this is looking great. Mm -mm -mm. Let's drop this. That's a Sora sword, huh? Don't mind if I do. Wasn't it? Yeah, over there. We'll go to this one as a checkpoint first to just unlock some of this darkness. <laughs> there it was really dark. That looks like a big camp type of thing. 
And here we will probably need to refill the battery quickly. What is that tower? That looks super nice, Ansus. Good little landing. Wow. I wanna check that tower out so bad. And what did we... Nice, we, now we can heal also. Because those two actually lighted up the whole part here. That's crazy. So I guess we're going there and then up there. Uh, 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 uh. But let's put a... This one is interesting and we want to check out. Star is interesting place for me now. And food, because I'm halfway to death. And statue was looking there, so I guess we're going... Yeah, we're going in there, right, 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 right. Of course. <laughs> A lot of statues there, they really want to make sure you don't miss it. Like, you're going in here. Let me just quickly... That looks like a good loot place. For another time. Actually, two in a row, so... If I can put one there as well, yeah. And battery we need. Oh, so wrong. Wrong bag. There we go. Can I just use up the batteries so we so we get to this place? The hell? Is it here we're going? No, it's going straight right then. But that place also looks so interesting. <laughs> what is this place with all the interesting stuff? We have to backtrack after the Giga Clan uh, quest. Nice. Let's just land at this statue, because now we're here. Oops. Take that as well. Grab the car. We're not gonna take it with us, but we're just gonna park it a bit nicer over here. <laughs> I say yes, I... Turn it over. Oh, nice! Why not just grab the car... ...to that place instead? so nice. So now let's play some on the quest line as well. It's been a while since we did quests. We have a lot of a lot of these episodes have just been uh, like the last four has been running around and exploring, which is fun as well. But it can be stale to only do that. I will probably fly over, so I don't have to waste time. <laughs> oh, I've been. <laughs> Such so spoiled after building this. Why have I waited so long for building this? Hello, dude. I can also fly now. Do you like my car? Err. What am I doing wrong? Got the wrong hand, dude. You need a special hand, my man. Maybe my an angle is off. Maybe. No, that's still not working. Oh! Gonna be mad now. Whoa! How long have you been there? Why, you little... Tried to catch me off guard, did you? You... Cowardly sneak. I love that animation when it gets mad. Like I said before, my plan has changed. 
But we already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So what you saw was just, you know... I was killing time! Yeah, 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 of course. You can keep telling yourself that. Uh, so, yeah, you get it. Anyway, I can't believe you followed me to another mine. Persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh. Is it 3v... 3v1 now or something? Yeah. I got things to do, so let's make this real quick. Giga Clan, attack! Or is it even more than three? No. Okay, so I wonder here... Can I... Wow. Great hit. Such a good Giga Clan. Okay, if I aimbot these dudes, what will happen? They die. But he, will he, like, respawn them? And is the plan for me to, like, chase him on my own of these? Is that what they want me to do? <laughs> if I could take a guess, I guess so. I thought that would give me some slow-mo. Then I just want my flying machine. Like what is his plan of doing alone, just driving like that? Let me get my flying machine. Turn it around a bit. So if I like jump off now. Quickly something with damage, but not too much damage because I don't want to waste those. I guess this is actually worth. Boom. 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 And please climb up, dude. And not that weapon. Uh, 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 why not this? Is it my boat now? Eyeball for the. I think I should heal. Okay, yeah. You don't want to headshot him too early. Because then you don't have time to go up to him. Oh my god, that's a name bot. Wrong. <laughs> the one person I didn't want to hit, huh? Oh, but they disappear. So it can actually be good to do that. That's great knowledge to have. I guess this is just a snipe bot, uh, boss fight. It's just worth sniping them instead of trying to get up on the platform. Aimbot? On the wrong... I, now I want to aimbot the boss. the last huh now I don't have a lot of bows left which is no good
Nice. That should mean that the other leave. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't aim for shit. That's like zero damage on him. Aimbot again. That's a good height, but a bit more straight on. That's not a good height, huh? That hit. That hit. That hit. This is not the most optimal <laughs> way to do this. I guess that's better, actually. Yeah, look at all this damage we got out on him now. Then we just... Take the boat again. Oh. Dude. That's no... Fair. No. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Lucky I didn't die. Is that enough? One more. Come on. Yes. And sometimes I was close of dying there, but we but we managed. Uh, what did you say first there? Bruh. Ah, oh, the steering stick got wet, so my hand slipped. Sure, dude. Sure. <laughs> no matter. Once again, you're too late. I've already dug up all the crystallized charges this place had to offer, and there's more. I just got word from my underlings. <laughs> That they located the man himself. They found the Demon King. Just one more step. One teeny little step until the Giga Clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. We have more than enough crystallized charges now. And there's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Hear me now, Link. It's time to start the final excava excavation. The Northwestern Abandoned Mine waits. That's where I'll use those charges to activate our ultimate weapon. Offer it to the Demon King and... Bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. Somehow, somehow I doubt that as well. And dude, look at that badly designed flying machine. That will break in like two minutes of you flying with it. I'll get yours, just you wait. You'll get yours, just to wait. Of course, dude. Just bring it on next time we meet each other. Greetings! I couldn't help but... ...unheard what you're talking about. I was listening closely to the going-ons. The northwestern abandoned mine that man headed for is likely the abandoned Hebra mine. Uh, but there are few chasms in Hebra by which to reach it. The path stretching from Hyrule Ridge that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there's being a chasm somewhere that connects directly to the abandoned mine. Uh, there's one other thing before you resume your journey. Yes, I will get a recipe. So we hit... Oh, map. We're we going up there. And I guess they said a chasm above the mine. And the nearest chasm is there. Otherwise... Or is it like something you can do here? That's, that's a problem for another day. Right now, focus on this and also buy a lot of crystallized charges here. And that's great. We almost have 300 without even buying on this place yet. Authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where the great where a great deal of sonite was processed. 
My task here is to manage the signs for mining equipment. Please hold on one moment. Uh, I have confirmed there is a schema stone you do not have. Allow me to rectify that. Thank you, thank you. What do we get? A bolt boat. Not sure what that is. Uh, I will also prepare the parts required to test it via auto build. Thank you. I hope that the schema stone I have provided is useful to you. I hope so as well. It's basically a... Uh, what the hell? <laughs> it's like a boat with a... Is that a unicorn light beam thing? So it's a boat that does damage. Is that correct? It's a boat with like electric... That's actually it can be quite useful. But nothing I want to use at the moment. So let's start this. Authorizer verified. Welcome. I'm a forge construct. I process sonite here into other materials. Sonite is a substance that can be mined in great quantities in this land. I'm capable of processing this substance and converting it to a variety of things. Here, allow me to show what can be processed from Sonite. I will buy all your crystallized charges. Uh, yes. Bye bye. I take them all. It's a deal. And that gives us. I'm not sure how many. This we will take all also. These are actually good to have, and they are only one each. I will buy all five of them. How much are these? Two? No. Is this something I can loot? I don't think so. Yeah, 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 sorry for taking it. It was not on purpose. Is it anything else of value in here? Or have they stripped it all? Their only known the only known way to enter the depths is through chasms. After the upheaval, many chasms appeared across Hyrule. When navigating the depths proved to treaches, try leaving and returning through a different chasm. To fully conquer the depth, we must find every entra entrance. Unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. It is rumored, for instance, that a chasm has someone open inside a cave. Okay. Surely this is not only the only concealed entrance. There may even be holes that do not seem to be chasm at first glance. But take heart. The gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon. And most can be seen from above. Glory to Master Kuga. So it's probably gonna be some type of chasm uh, in a cave near Rito village then, because they said that the entrance was straight above the, the next mine. So I wanna do some type of... Um... This is a bit sus. This is like almost directly on that one. Uh, I wanna make some type of mark here I don't know I'm not sure that that would probably more confuse me than not it's better to just read the, the quest log yeah there may be a, yeah, it says there may be a chasm leading straight to it so that means we don't have to mark it I can read myself to, to that knowledge when I need to. I just wanna sh check up here. You never know what you can find. That's actually a statue looking this way, okay. So that's where I came from, to be honest, I think. No, I came from there. 
that's just another way to, to reach this place. Huh? Okay, so we have done all the things we can do on this mine. How many... How many... Oh, it's not... It's here, you can see that. How many... We have 390 of these. And how many... I want to see the amount of uh, Sonite I have. They, they should be here, right? They should be here. Maybe next to the worst. Would make sense at least, but it's not. <laughs> Damn. Where can I see the amount of uh, Sonai I have? Maybe it's only in the quick travel parts I can do it. So let's go to this mine. Just to get the... buy the loot from there as well. And that means we're going this way. Uh, we have... we should go and light up that so we have a closer quick travel also. And this time we want the precious flying bike. Throw a quick little light source on it. Hit it quickly. Oh my god, wrong button. And that's an okay loot place, but for now, actually, let's loot it, because I'm not sure how many we have. Here we want to shoot as straight as possible. Oh my god, that's way too straight. Yeah, you saw me. See this? Damn. Don't you call your friends. Nah, you had time for it. Oh my god, how can I not aim? And how is that not a headshot? That's a headshot, huh? Hoppa, that's a lot of damage. Here we will probably use this for some... Okay, and we need a bomb quickly here. This fat dude. Boom. We have 237 so nights. Oh my god. Don't stand in the gloom, please. And boom. Who are you gonna call? Oh. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> That's a funny little sound. I would say that was not on the... On the war, but sure. Are you the one that's left here? It's actually great loot for me. One, one dude left. Hello, friend. Sorry for uh, stem st just going in here and <laughs> butchering you all. I hope you can forgive me. 
Hopefully it's Blood Moon soon, so you can respawn from that. Nice. A lot of great loot here. Did we mark this place? No, we should. Oh my god. All these powers <laughs> that gets activated when I just wanna loot. A lot of Sonites and large Sonites. Was that everything of value here? Was it anything up here? Let's take a quick look. I wanna loot that for the arrows if it if it is arrow that was a, but I'm not gonna hit that and die. <laughs> that sounds like a dumb plan to do. Uh, I think we have looted this place to the brim now. Yeah. And my bike. I think if you could just call on your bike, that would have been a nice little thing to do. Okay, so let's fly to to that map uh, light up thingy. <laughs> Eat one of these. Just to make my life a bit more easy. <laughs> I was failed that I missed this the last time we were here. Is that almost as to the left you can go on the map? That's one as well we haven't been to. Guess those get the same treatment as uh, shrines in the overworld. What up, dude? I'm gonna buy some th shit from you. If I may. And with that, we should just go and check. But we shouldn't, because we don't have any large show nights, so we can just ignore that for now. I was saying if we should go and check if they have... Let's do it. If they have re, re, uh, re restocked these shelves. Yeah, they have. Because it been it was roughly two hours ago we were here. So it's good to know that on a two hour notice, these places are recharged with... Uh, with... Uh, not recharged, restocked with things to buy. But we have no large show nights. But it's okay. We have 500... Oh, we really want 50 more, huh? But we're not gonna manage that. Uh, so you, now we wanna go to Lookout Landing, because outside Lookout Landing we can re refill our batteries permanently.
So this two hour grind netted us almost two more permanent full batteries. But I'm gonna talk to these dudes first. Yes. Hello Pura. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. Mm. A serious cold front, a food shortage and a ship floating in the sky in Rito village. <laughs> then it's Sora's domain. King Dorifan was attacked and Sludge was raining down from above. And someone who looked like Princess Zelda was connected to what happened in both places. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case may be, I'm glad Rito and Sora are able to get back to business as usual. Seems like entrusting those areas to you were the right decision after all. It's become clear as day that there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. I need you to hurry up to, to the remaining regions and soon. And we... We need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about too. And we need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about too. Uh, what other villages? Uh, it's a relatively new place called Terre Town in Akala, northeast of here. Hudson Construction is located there. They're the same folks who built Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. For some reason, Sonia devices are... F Sonia devices are falling near that area more, more than elsewhere. There's gotta be a special reason for that. Uh, if you want more info... Talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the di right direction. He helped deploy the monster control crew squad to where they're, they're needed and has extensive geographical knowledge. Good to know. He can tell you more than I can about various regions and peoples. Anyway, I can, I can get help from the research division for this. But I'm entrusting investigation to the remaining regions with the phenomena to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Keep me posted. Here you are, Muzu. It is time for a new generation to lead the way of Sora's domain. I leave it to the King Sidon and Queen Yona to forge our path. However, King Sidon also has his new duties as a sage to attend to. In this deed, we will proudly protect Lookout Landing so the King Sidon can devote himself to his now newfound duties. In addition, we are preparing to embark on a diligent inquiry into the geoglyphs that has appeared across Hyrule. We will share any information we uncover at once. Of course, the kingdom is vast, so please understand that it would take some time for us to gather this information. Of course, dude. I haven't even started going for the geoglyphs yet. <laughs> oh, look who it is. I told Pura about all that's happening at the village. Without your guidance, I don't think Tulin would have ma matured so much in such a short time. <laughs> Thank you, Link. Uh, despite everything you helped with, we still be helping to find Princess Zelda either way. We, Rito, are the obvious right pick for the scoring the skies. We'll be protecting the skies and checking out the sky islands. Okay, that's good to know. Hello, dude. I want some batteries. Of the permanent sort. Uh, there is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized shards and use them to produce energy wells. Yes, please. To produce 5 energy wells will, cry f re will require 500 crystallized shards. Is that acceptable? Of course it is. Please wait. Nice, now we're gonna have almost 4 full batteries. Thank you. That's so nice. I would enjoy further visits from you. Of course, dude. This will be my priority for the next couple of... Uh, not episodes, but I will focus on this quite a lot, actually. Because it's gonna help us explore the rest of the map more quickly in the future. Uh, 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 uh. And what was... I was thinking something else, actually, before ending. I guess one thing we're gonna check is just try out the new battery. Let's see how how far we can go on one charge now. So we just try to go straight, just to see the the maximum length we can get here.
And I'm also going northeast by choice. Because I think the quest main quest wants me to go there next. So why not go and unlock that shrine over there? Damn, we can travel far, huh? On one charge. That's some crazy ass distance. But this is uh, already unlocked. Uh, unlocked shrine. But something I missed last time I was here, I guess, it's the Kuroko seed up here. I saw you. Try to hide. Okay. Am I... Ah. Uh, no? What? Where did it go? No, it's down here. Okay, so it's... Now we're gonna go up to that one now. That's a bit mean-spirited of them. Is that the last one? Yeah. I did find you. With that Kuroko seed caught, why not end it here? So next episode, we're gonna go and explore the northeast, I guess. The thing is, we have a lot of things to do. We need to go back to Hateno village and uh, do the quests all over that place. Um, but I'm feeling the northeast side for the next episode. Maybe unlock the map and see what else we have time for. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, or these two episodes in the depths, if you also seen the last one. If you have enjoyed it, uh, please like this video, as always, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on the future episodes. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. As always, bye bye.